You should move to Australia, they told me. The weather is absolutely beautiful, they said. Well, they lied to me. It is absolutely freezing here in winter. Do you know what else is cold? Well, try using a Radeon 9600 SE with a wire chipset mainboard and a Sound Blaster PCI sound card. We had all sorts of issues in the recent video and yeah, in the end I gave up. I had to move on and use parts with an Intel chipset instead. I got a heap of good tips from you to try and I couldn't let it go. I really wanted to get to the bottom of it. So a couple of the tips that you gave me, the first one was try installing the audio drivers before the graphics drivers. Another tip was, well, basically, yeah, ditch via. Many of you had issues with via chipsets in the past in combination with Creative Labs sound cards. Another tip was accessing the BIOS and looking for a setting called AGP aperture size and increasing that. And one more tip was using a via PCI latency patch. I'm curious, what suggestion do you think worked? Because yeah, here it is. We've got the machine up and running, Windows 98 with the Radeon 9600 SE and I use a different sound blaster, the Audio G2 ZS, but that sound card gave me the exact same issues. And because this video is a little bit on the short side, I have a fun racing game that we will check out shortly. In the end, it was indeed a BIOS option. Firstly, on the Gigabyte mainboard, the AGP settings are hidden. You need to press Ctrl F1 to unlock more features of the BIOS. And it was actually not the AGP aperture size. It was another setting to do with the onboard graphics. I had to disable the shared memory, which is really weird. In, in the past, I never had such issues. And when you install a dedicated GPU, there's nothing in Device Manager hinting at any uh, device to do with shared graphics. So very weird. Now the Socket 939 mainboard from Asus, that one doesn't use onboard graphics. So I do wanna have a look at that one in the future. There might not be a video, I might just post something through the community update. Actually, I want to continue doing that. Um, recently, I found a few things about table fog and something to do with system shock and the video is not playing. So pay attention to that area. That's where I can um, yeah, share some little nuggets of information that might help you out in your journey of playing classic games. And speaking about classic games, let's check out a really fun racing game. The game we are testing today is Insane, which is a really fun racing game. Actually, it's a off-road arcade racing game. And it launched in the year 2000 and 2001, depending on the market. Um, launched at different times in different regions and developed by Invictus Games. I had a look on Wikipedia. They have a resume of racing games, so that's what they specialize. And they're out of Hungary, beautiful country very close to home and yeah, excellent food. If you haven't tried goulash yet, do so. It's absolutely yummy. So I played it for a little bit and I get the impression this is way more fun in a LAN or playing across the internet. LAN gameplay, that should work to this day. I'm not sure about online gaming, didn't look into that. As for single player, yeah. It's, it's fun. I'm not sure if there's enough substance to get you going. For example, the uh, campaign, the second level or mission is already capture the flag and it's a bit boring playing capture the flag against uh, AI or against uh, computer, com computer controlled cars. It's just not the same as on a LAN. There are different vehicles. You can tune them and configure them and there are different locations and you can even build your own um, uh, levels, so to speak. So yeah, there are, I think there's enough substance in there. I, I got the feeling that this is more like a quick, quick game to kill some time. Uh, but yeah, the jury's still out. I, I need to play a little bit more and also eager to hear from you. Now, in terms of technicalities, this is the GOG release. I bought it, installed it on a modern computer, and then you just copy the folder onto your retro gaming PC. Off you go. No wrappers or patches required. We're running at 1024 by 768, all details maxed out, 16x AF activated in the driver and the performance, yeah, seems to be perfectly fine. In terms of settings, there's not too much to change. I tweaked all the details to high. One particular setting that you do need to change 
it has to do with the graphics. TNL needs to be activated, otherwise it doesn't render correctly. The controls are fine. I didn't have to remap anything. You can go into the options and have a look what the controls are mapped at default. There are some views that might be interesting. There's a replay function. So yeah, there's actually, there's quite a lot going on, but I'm not quite sure if this is the right game for me. I prefer something like with a, a rally championship with a bit more structure. I don't like all these different game modes. Capture the flag, it doesn't really, doesn't really interest me, but it might be exactly what you are looking for. So I'm really happy we figured out what's going on because I like using that main board a lot. I've been using it in all sorts of DOS and Windows 98 projects. The Radeon, I also like using Radeon cards. It has high level of uh, AF. You can go with 16 AF with this video card, so that's nice to see. And the performance is beautiful and you can't be too picky with retro parts. So the more we can get things going, the better. And also big thank you to you guys uh, for leaving awesome comments down below in the video description and motivating me to, yeah, look at this another time and get to the bottom of it. The game, insane, yeah, not too bad. I think it is definitely more fun in a LAN playing uh, against your friends for single player, the uh, championship, yeah, maybe not too much substance going on there, but it's good looking and the physics are really fun. So yeah, it doesn't cost too much either. I think it's around, three or four dollars at the moment on GUG on special. So definitely worth picking up and checking out. So what is your experience with via chipsets? Share them down below. And yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy what you saw and you haven't subscribed, please do so. There's lots of fun stuff happening here on the channel. Leave comments down below. I always want to hear from you. What sort of projects are you interested in? I add them to a list. And then hopefully down the track, I have some time and I can cross some of these projects off my list. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you very soon with another one.